Today, I'm gonna be asking girls questions guys are too afraid to ask. I'm joined here with... Tari Yummy! Tari Yummy! We need this to be a completely honest guy ask girl session. Got it. You picked an honest bitch, so don't worry. Does body count matter? For who? For for what do you mean? Like, for guys. Like, like if I was going after a guy, would their body count yes, matter? Yes, yes. Not really, no. Unless it was like something crazy, like 200. So what's like, what's like the, what's like the, the threshold? What's like... Well, I think every girl is different, but me personally, I think it's a red flag if it's like, if you're like 21, 23 years old and it's like over 50. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, it's okay to be a whore. Next question. I, I told the guys I would keep these anonymous, but this comes from Reggie. <laughs> Where does the P come from if no dick? Your hoo-ha. Your cooter. <laughs> your hoo-ha. It comes from your urethra. Your urethra. I actually don't know if that's only for a boy term. Like your pee hole. Is a urethra also a vagina hole? The cliche question, does size matter? No. Why? Because it's about the motion of the ocean. It's true. It's because if like your wiener is like not that big, it's fine. As long as you know how to use it. Because there's other things you could use too. Like? Oh, I forgot you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy has like a like a like a micro dick? Like a two incher. If he's a two inch is this more personal? No, it's not personal, Tara. I think it's personal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, some people like two inches. It's not personally for me. Okay, fair enough. Follow-up question. Does height matter? Take that as a I'm yes. like, sorry, David Alvarez. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I'm four foot eleven. I shouldn't be talking, but I guess it's different for guys. Like, as long as you're taller than me, which is like not really saying much. Like, so if Jake was five two, no, I would not date Jake. Jake, did you hear that? What's going on? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not speaking for all women. Why do girls? Chase after like the bad guys. I don't think girls go after that. I think they just happen to be hot. Okay, so that's your, your that's your answer. You think bad toxic guys? No, I think they just happen to be hot. Next question. Do not hop around this question. Do girls prefer looks or personality? It sounds shallow. At the end of the day, if it's a relationship that involves the sucking and fucking. The sucking and the sucking and the. The sucking and fucking. Right. So what I'm saying Never is, if it's like a part. sexual relationship, of course, a look like looks are gonna matter. Yeah. Um, but if your personality is shit then your looks don't matter. Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. So like, of course, looks play a part in it, I think. Let's say we're out and you see a girl. You I won't go up to her, that's for sure. <laughs> I know, because you're a pussy. But no. I'm saying, when you see her, you don't see her personality. Do girls poop? I actually just took a massive shit right before you came. I saw your uh, your Twitter your Twitter post. Dude, I was just on Story vacation. Time. I was just on vacation, you guys, and I didn't shit for like five days straight. And I was so constipated that like nothing. And I ended up having to stick something up my butt. Jake's question is, do girls get tired of being clean and smelling so good? Sounds exhausting. I don't think we get tired of being clean all the time. At least me, because I prefer that. If I look gross or if I feel gross, if I feel smelly, if I feel dirty, I start freaking the fuck out. Can you explain like what an ick is and like why girls get it? Girls picture the guy, these guys that they like in such like a perfect light and okay. they like, they're like, oh my god, they're perfect, blah, blah. So when they do something that's a little bit odd or a little bit like more human, they just get really unattractive to them, you know? But like, is it enough to like, okay, so like, is like chasing a ping pong ball or like no. seeing a guy's butt crack, is that like enough to break up with them? Okay, first of all, seeing a guy's butt crack and chasing a ping pong ball, two different things. No, because so, I've heard so many if girls If a guy bent like, over and I saw his crack, I'd be like, ew. But what about like when, you It know, depends. Like if I see a... I see when a, you're doing the deed, you're going to see it. Oh, that's fine. I'm Why? Talking, What's the difference? There's a difference. Because it's like embarrassing the when you bend over and your butt crack hurts. Okay, so I think, here's what I think where the ick draws the line. Okay. If you're in love with someone, you're not going to get the ick from them. But if it's just a crush and you just like them, they're going to give you the ick. One time... I was dating this guy, he had ketchup on his face, and I broke up with him. I feel like that's such a Jake thing to do. I know, but I love Jake, there's a difference. Oh God, seeing a guy in flip flops. Oh. What about Crocs? Crocs is fine, I guess. If you're what? With... Why do girls go to the bathroom together? I think it's to gossip and to talk shit. Sometimes it's for safety reasons. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. But, like... uh, but if it's not for safety reasons, it's either to talk shit, gossip, borrow like a lip gloss, or just like, I don't know, it's usually to talk shit. To talk shit? It's not like, oh my God, I really like this guy. Oh like... no, 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 not talk shit in a bad way, just to, like talk about what's going on, I mean. Oh. Yeah. Describe this as best as you can. What does a period feel like? It feels like a baby calf just died in their pants. Oh my God. Yeah. Like sometimes I put my pants down when I got my period, I'm like, someone just died. Also, you're right, it does feel like someone's just punching you like right here. 
Ah, no, don't. Okay, next question is, how clingy is too clingy? I fucking hate clingy. Really? Is Jake, is Jake not clingy? No, something I like about Jake is sometimes he won't text me for like a day. I like to have my own life, so I'm like, get yeah. the fuck off of me. Does a girl prefer a guy with abs or without abs? That's personal. That's a personal preference, I think, because I don't really care. But like, if like, you know, if there was like a girl with, if there was like a, like, same exact face, same exact body, except like oh, abs. Except abs? Yeah, would it be like, like, mm, would, would the girl choose abs. the guy with abs or the guy with the not abs? Mm, maybe the guy with abs. I'm speaking for most girls. I don't, I really don't think it matters for me. I think I have to close my eyes and pick because you don't have to have abs to be healthy or to feel fit. Why are like girls into like guys' butts? I don't know, I think it's fun. I guess this is also opinionated, but do girls prefer younger or older guys and why? I think it's preference. I like older guys. I've dated young guy, younger guys by the way. I feel like younger. most girls prefer older guys. Yeah, I agree. This is a, I need this answered. Like I think every guy needs this answered. When a girl says, it's fine or I'm fine. Like, what are you supposed to do? Bring like, them flowers. <laughs> it depends. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm fine, and I, I mean it. And sometimes I'm like, I'm fine, and I don't mean it. But like, you can't tell over text, you know. It's like, it's like if you say it over text, it's like check oh. for a period. If there's a period at the end, they're pissed. But what are you supposed to do? Like, how? how fix it. How? Fix how? That, that, well, how? It depends on the it? situation. Like, you, someone had to cancel plans with the other person, you know? And they're like, oh. ah, it's fine or I'm fine. Like, you know, obviously the other person is gonna be like, or the girl would be. Okay, know. in that case, if I'm like, I'm fine. Fine. It's fine. I'm obviously a little upset. Um, so maybe be like, I'm like, be like, I'm really sorry. I know it's not okay. Let's reschedule. Let's make it extra special. I don't know. Just compensate for it. Make it up to them. What is the biggest red flag for a guy? Eating corner bakery every day. I don't eat corner bakery every day. And Chick Fil A. I just like pasta. I eat I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because if he treats his mom or his sister badly or yeah, poorly, like family, yeah. Because that means they're that's kind of like a reflection of the way they treat you. Absolutely. When you go into the room and there's holes in their wall. <laughs> what kind of guys have you gone? What, what kind of guys have holes in their wall like in their room? Like people punch their walls. Okay, that's yeah. I don't do that. A red flag for me is being picky with food. Like Reggie. Reggie's a walking red flag to me. A big red flag is. Going by the name Mango. And not even kidding, a big red flag to me is just like sitting in your room playing video games because it makes me feel like they're not like social and I like being social.